COVID-19 Special Edition, Medical Frontiers. Researchers around the world are racing to develop treatments for COVID-19 amid the prolonged pandemic. Among the new drugs that have been created, hopes are especially high for what are called antibody drugs. Antibody drugs are attracting the world's attention as a treatment for COVID-19, which is driving progress in research and development in this area. Today on the program, we're gonna look into exactly how these antibody drugs work in helping to treat disease with a researcher who's on the front line. In October 2020, then US President Donald Trump, who was infected with COVID-19, was released from the hospital just three nights after he was admitted. We have the best medical equipment, we have the best medicines, all developed recently. Trump was given an antibody cocktail developed by a U.S. pharmaceutical firm. This drug is administered as a combination of two types of antibodies. The drug company conducted a clinical trial with COVID-19 outpatients who were at risk of developing severe symptoms. The results showed the drug reduced the risk of hospitalization or death by around 70% compared to the placebo. The drug is administered through intravenous infusion. It's being used to treat COVID patients with mild to moderate symptoms in the United States, Europe, and elsewhere. we set out to learn how antibody drugs are made and how they work. Yoshimasa Takahashi has been studying drug development at the National Institute of Infectious Diseases. Only a small fraction of the thousands of kinds of antibodies produced can neutralize the virus. These antibodies bind to spike proteins on the surface of the coronavirus and destroy its infectivity. Dr. Takahashi, thank you so much for your time today. Dr. Takahashi, with the corona vaccines, they produce antibodies. How different are these antibodies compared to the antibodies produced from these drugs? ま、ワクチンは、え、体に、え、抗体を作らせる長い期間ですね。期間が当たって、え、抗体を作り続けさせることができるんで、ま、抗体が体の中にま、数ヶ月以上、ま、あの、比較的高いのでで、ま、維持
というのは実はまだよく分かっていないところが多くてですね、まあ、ちょっと現時点でまあどういった役割があるのか、まあ、あるいは役割がないのかもしれないですけれども。So how did you find these neutralizing antibodies from these thousands of different antibodies? Yes, the most often used way to use 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 the most often used way to B cells are a type of immune cell that can produce antibodies. People who have recovered from COVID-19 are highly likely to have B cells that can produce neutralizing antibodies against the coronavirus. Each B cell can only produce one specific type of antibody. Researchers extract as many types of B cells as possible from the blood of COVID survivors. They analyze genetic information of antibodies taken from these cells. Their findings are used to artificially produce various types of antibodies. These antibodies are sorted by type, then added along with the coronavirus to pockets on a plate containing cells which will be infected by the virus. In this image, the cells in the transparent pockets have died after being infected. The cells in the blue pockets have managed to avoid infection. The blue pockets contain neutralizing antibodies that protected the cells from the virus. Researchers have to screen antibodies one by one to find those with neutralizing capacity. Are you using any sort of genetic analysis or are you using perhaps AI to detect these different antibodies? まあ、AI 予測等ですね機械学習等を駆使してあの、まあ、遺伝情報からその抗体が中和活性はあるのかどうかというのを予測するという研究は今あの活発に進められていますただ現時点ですねそのような手法が十分確立されて,されているというような状況では残念ながらなくてですねやはり、まあ、中和抗体を、まあ、特定するためには、まあ、地道に一つ一つあの実験で検証していくと。Among the neutralizing antibodies, or NABs, only those with a relatively stronger ability to block infection are used in drugs. The antibody cocktail combines two types of NABs chosen from among several thousand. And are there any side effects to the antibody drugs? もともと人の体にある抗体タンパクをあの生成してあの体にまた投与するというような薬になりますので、まあ、相対的にですね、まあ、他の,あの薬に比べると、まあ、一般的にあの副反副作用はまあ少ないというふうにまあ言われております。The antibody cocktail was developed so that it can better deal with viral mutations. NABs bind to the tips of protrusions called spike proteins on the surface of the virus. This 3D image, shot with state of the art equipment, shows a spike protein in detail. A specific protein on the tip serves as a sign that shows neutralizing antibodies where to bind to in order to nullify the virus. But mutations occur frequently in this very spot. The red parts are the areas where mutations have been reported. Some neutralizing antibodies become unable to recognize where to bind to as a result of these changes. The cocktail treatment combines two different types of antibodies in the hope that even if one of them fails to bind to the virus, the other one will succeed. Now, the antibody cocktail treatment 
が、まあ、今後あの、まあ、どのような変異株にも対応できるかどうかというのは、まあ、残念ながらあの見通せない状況ですので。多くの研究者は、まあ、引き続き新しい、まあ、抗体というのを、まあ、管理していって、まあ、あのそ,その変異のリスクというのにの対応をしていこうというふうにあの考えて今研究開発が進められているところです。Let's look at the different coronavirus mutations that are currently known. Mutations have so far occurred in small areas of the tip of the spike protein that are shown in red. In the alpha variant, they occurred in the section shown in purple. In the gamma variant, in the green sections. And in the delta variant, the yellow sections. Even such minor changes make some neutralizing antibodies ineffective. However, in February 2021, Takahashi discovered a super antibody that could bind to the spike proteins of future variants. The virus is not a good thing. It's 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 a good thing. まあ、私たちアキレス腱というような表現をすることもありますが。Scientists have theorized that the Achilles heel of the coronavirus are areas where the mutations do not occur. Takahashi and his colleagues succeeded in locating one of them. It's the section shown in blue. The super antibody that Takahashi and his team found. Binds to this area of the spike protein. This discovery is attracting the world's attention as a possible key to overcoming COVID 19. When you first discovered these super neutralizing antibodies, how did you feel? にも対応対,対抗しようとしているというふうに現在考えています。The team is studying the super antibody in order to develop new drugs. まあ今私たち抗体研究者、免疫研究者ができることというのは、やはりそういったリスクのある感染症に対して事前にもう、えー、スーパーチュアコーターを用意しておくと、まあ、コロナウイルス、あるいはインフルエンザウイルス、まあ、あるいはその他のです、ね、パンデミックを起こすリスクのあるようなさまざ、あ、まな、まあ、感染症に対してそのようなものを用意しておくと、でそうすることで、まあ、新たにあの次のパンデミックが発生した場合でも、まあ、すぐに治療薬として、まあ、社会に貢献できる。ことを目指して、えー、私たち今一丸となって研究開発を行っているところです。So I think the potential for this is going to be incredibly exciting. So I wish you every success and thank you so much for your time today. あ、どうもありがとうございました。Antibody drugs are a potential trump card for treating COVID-19, but challenges still remain. Advanced skills are needed to artificially produce antibodies. A large scale plant with special equipment is also necessary for mass production. There aren't enough antibody drugs to meet global demand. The dr drugs don't come cheap either. The pharmaceutical company that developed the cocktail. Is providing it to the US government for $2,100 per dose. A group of researchers is studying a completely new type of antibody drug to overcome these problems. In spring 2020, Kazuhiko Katayama, who leads the team, Began developing a new coronavirus drug using antibodies of an animal. 
The animal he focused on was the alpaca. Katayama took notice of a distinctive quality of antibodies produced by camelids, a group of animals that include alpacas and llamas. Researchers around the world have been studying antibodies specific to camelids, with an eye on using them to treat various diseases. This is a camelid antibody. The circled areas are known as the VHH antibodies. They can bind to spike proteins, just like human antibodies. They are about one-tenth the size of a typical human antibody and have a simple structure. Because of their small size, VHH antibodies can bind to more spike proteins and neutralize viruses effectively. Progress in genetic modification technology has made it possible to artificially produce VHH antibodies that aren't rejected by the human body. There are 10 trillion kinds of VHH antibodies. Katayama's team set out to find the ones that can fight the new coronavirus. Liquid with 10 trillion types of VHH antibodies is poured into pockets containing coronavirus spike proteins. After a while, some of the antibodies bind to the spike proteins. They are gathered, then the process is repeated. This helps to identify VHH antibodies that can bind tightly to spike proteins. Katayama also ran an experiment using live cells and detected VHH antibodies that are effective against the new coronavirus. This is a microscopic image of a monkey's cells. The cell nuclei are shown in blue. They will be exposed to the coronavirus. When they are infected, the reaction appears red. When both the virus and VHH antibodies are mixed and added, there is no redness. This confirms that the antibodies are effective in preventing infection. Katayama says it is easy to replicate VHH antibodies because their structure is simpler than that of human antibodies. Bacteria are unicellular organisms that produce protein. 
VHH antibodies are also made from protein. When genetic information from VHH antibodies is inserted into bacteria, the bacteria produce the antibodies in their cells, then secrete them. The bacteria themselves proliferate indefinitely. This allows low-cost mass production of VHH antibodies. To develop a VHH antibody drug, Katayama's team is working with a Japanese chemical maker that manufactures detergents and other products. The firm mass produces enzymes, a type of protein, to boost detergents cleaning power using a common bacteria which is found in soil, plants and other places. The firm's technology and know-how can enable mass production of VHH antibodies, which are also made of protein. Katayama also believes they can make antibody drugs at one one-hundredth of the production cost of those that are currently available. Katayama says that the simple structure of VHH antibodies makes them easy to process into a powder. Inhaling a powdered medicine through the nose can block the virus at its entry point and prevent the spread of infection. A powdered medicine can easily reach the lungs via the trachea and prevent serious symptoms. Katayama hopes to put the drug to practical use in about five years. Aromatherapist Kubo Hiroko will explain how to use essential oils to make yourself feel refreshed amid the coronavirus pandemic. I have lots of worries. I have lots of issues. But I guess my main issue is probably my sleep. And I think the other thing would be stress. So my two big ones are sleep and stress. まあ、ストレスを和らげて、え、Kubo recommends lavender mixed with a few drops of peppermint as a remedy for a headache. She says sweet marjoram, which belongs to the mint family, is effective in easing pain. It's good for tense shoulders and eye strain. She recommends rosemary for sore muscles after a workout. When you smell various oils, you will sometimes develop difficulty telling them apart. I think I've got this 
under my nose. I can only smell this one now. 自分のね匂いをこう嗅ぐとリセットされます嗅覚が。Can can you smell? Oh, really? That's interesting. Yeah. And try again. Yeah, that's interesting. Wow. Why is that? So なんです。So Hiroko, what happens if you don't have a diffuser at home? What can you do? Put two drops of the essential oil of your choice on a tissue. This helps the scent last a long time. あとは肌につかないようにして胸元に入れていただいても大丈夫です。To ease cold symptoms, Kubo recommends adding a few drops of eucalyptus oil to water that's around 50 degrees Celsius, then slowly inhaling the steam. またこうティッシュに垂らすだけと違いますよね。お湯で。Completely different.、はい、I mean, for me, this is much stronger. I mean, we're not comparing the same oil, but this is much stronger.、うん、で、すごく香りがいいので飲みたくなってしまうと思うんですけど、精油って油なので絶対に飲まないようにしてください。Some essential oils come from foods that we are familiar with. Oranges contain essential oils in the bumps on their peels. Squeeze even just a small amount of the peel into some water. It will release a refreshing aroma that boosts your mood. Herbs used in cooking or grown in gardens contain essential oils in the thin hairs on the back of their leaves. Rub the leaves gently and pour hot water on them to make tea, or marinate them in oil. They will help you to relax. 身近な中にも本当にあの自然な香りっていうのはたくさん溢れているのでまずその自然の香りがどういうものかっていうのをあの知っていただいてで気に入った香りがあったらちょっと精油を使ってそれをま,あまずはこう自分の生活のちょっとプラスアルファにあの使っていただければいいかなと思います。So much fun and so inspiring and smells so good. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was so much fun.